Hello and welcome to Jackie Ann's Crafty Things. Um, today we're going to be making this box. Um, you remember last video I made the bag? Well, we're going to make a box to match the bag. Um, and it holds a hand cream. And there's the hand cream. Um, yeah, and it fits perfectly in there. So, I'll show you how it's made. You're going to need a piece of plain cardstock, which is six and a half by six and a half squared. You're going to need a piece that is three inch, three inch by one and a half inch, scored at one inch, and one and a half inch. You're going to need some DSP, which is one and a quarter by four inch, two of, and a one inch, yeah, a one inch squared piece. So let's just get the scoreboard. I've already cut this to six and a half by six and a half. Um, so we're going to score it at half an inch. Two inch. Got that wrong way around anyway. Half an inch, two inch. Three and a half inch. Oh, you can't see me there, can you? Always doing that with score. Three and a half inch. And five inch. To go to tell because bottom doesn't go to five inch. Yeah. And then we're going to fold and burnish these now. Get me bone folder, so we'll just yeah fold and burnish all these score lines, and then we'll do a little bit of cutting. Sorry, it's my fault. And then we're <laughs> getting ahead of myself again. And then we're going to score, turn it and score at one inch. I thought it looked a bit odd. I've got a score line at one inch on either end. This is going to create your lid, your bottom. So yeah, yeah, we'll just fold and burnish those skull lines now. I might just put my lamp on. Looks a bit. You might be able to see. Ah, oh, that's better. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now, this is going to create your tab here, so what we need to do is we just need to cut away this section here, this section here and this section here, but we're going to angle these two as we cut it, so you're going to just a little bit angle it in and cut that section away right up to the score line. Same with that one. Just angle it in a little bit, not too much. And then take it away, including the score line. 
and then these we're just gonna cut up to the to that first score line there that score line there and from this one where the tab is I'm going to take a little wedge off either side miss that one out and then do the next one the same and then miss that one so you've got that let's get rid of those and I'm going to take away no we're not no we're not we're going to glue <laughs> oh dear we're going to glue so i'm just going to get my tombow glue and i'm just going to glue that tab first less is more with this glue tend to do is just fold it in half just give that a good burnish in and there we have there we are just give it all a good burnish and there we have the start of the box so then you've got these two flaps that have got the little cutouts so we're just going to pop a bit of glue on that and then on that one there and then just fold them over you can pop it down square it up and just use your bone folder just to press it down then you've got your seam at the back here, so we want it that way around. This is going to be my front, this one, so the back one goes down first. Might need to take a little more wedge off that one. Seems to be overhanging slightly. don't have to do that it's just that mine's out overhanging slightly so then put some glue on might cut mine a little bit big it's the back anyway and then this is the front so that's going to go over there like that so just pop some glue on that my glue doesn't want to come out Oh, now it does. Oh, my goodness. I'll just uh, spread some of that off. Ooh, a bit too much there. So then I'm just going to line that up and just. It should be square. So this is your back, that's your back where the seam is here. I'm just going to cut down each one of these. That one's already done because that's the back, like so. Now these two are going to be your sides here. These two are going to be your sides. So I'm going to actually, I mean, you can leave it like that if you want and just seal it up, but I've made a lid. Um, so I'm just going to leave them two for now and I'm going to remove the back one completely. 
and the front one completely. Just like that. And then I'm going to make these into just like we did with the bottom. Oh. So this seems to don't want to seem to be a bit wonky. Let me just change scissors one second. Total wedge, that's better. Oh, what's wrong with them scissors? But they seem to be cutting strange. Yeah, there we go. And then same with the other side. Take a wedge off. Right, so we're just going to put that to one side for now. Now then, this is this is your lid, and I've already scored it at one and one and a half. So we'll just go ahead and fold and burnish those score lines. and then what we're going to do that's your back I've got glue on everything my goodness oh I know because it's I forgot about that just let me get a tissue it won't be a second let's just wipe this mess up because glue is getting everywhere all right so then we've got that so then we're going to be your folds for your top. So then what we're going to do is we're going to create the lid. Now before I do the lid, I am going to the one inch by one inch square. I'm just going to pop that on there. is going to actually be glued in there like that. So we'll pop a bit of glue on there. That then becomes. Oh yeah. You just need to cut two little wedges off either side. Like so. And that then becomes our lid. And what I didn't do, I didn't put on these. So I will just go ahead and glue those on. You can put these on before you glue it together. Just remember to put them on the right one. as well you can do it all the way around I just didn't have enough paper enough of this DSP left to do all four 
So I've just done the front and the back. So yeah. And there we have our little box. I just need to take a little bit of that. That's it. And there we have the box. So then... Our hand cream, and there you go. Now, then that goes with the bag we made. I made in the last video, and as you, it fits in nicely. Hope you like it and yeah if you haven't already subscribed I would love you to subscribe I really appreciate it and um, the next video I'll be making something else to go in the bag and um, yeah thanks for watching and bye for now